Hello, and welcome to Leon's RC Hobbies. I hope everybody's doing well. Been a while again. I've uh, got a new toy. Traxxas UER Ultimate Desert Racer. Been one and one wanting one of these for a very, very, very long time. Um, finally got one. I'm going to do an unboxing on this one. I've um, got a few mods that I want for it. A uh, bit of on wheels, sway bars, a few things. But I am going to try and scale this to the best I can to make it look as realistic as possible. And it will get to go out. I have been out a few times, just not videoed it, that's all. Uh, weather's been miserable again. Um, just want to order some batteries for this because I don't want Traxxas batteries. And the UDR itself is a bit of a pain to get batteries to fit it. So I've joined the forum and find out the size that I need. And then we'll get some batteries for this because I found a perfect dusty road for this thing. Because what it is with these is, as you know, it, they don't drive like normal RCs. They drive like the real thing. So they can flip over real easy. You've got to drive them scale. But let's get into this. Yep, the right way up, I'm going to check it. Let's just pause this. There we go. Ooh, I picked, I wanted a red originally, but I realised I've got a, you know, Mojave and the tracks, the X-Max is red. So, you know, my sentence is blue, I thought, you know what, let's go for the blue. I don't like the fox one, I um, the, the orange and white. Ooh, that's looking shit. Have a look around it. Uh, similar wheels are my uh, Mojave because I it, well, it's looked like a, a um, desert racer. We've got double shocks on the front, as you can see, or double dampers. We've got shocks. Uh, this has a live axle, so the back axle. Um, both wheels spin at the same time, unlike, uh, like say, the Mojave. Where it has a differential inside, this doesn't, this has a planetary um, gears in the back. Um, uh, it's not obviously a live axle at the front. It has a, as you can see, it has a diff in there. Where this one, it all moves. Let's look at so much detail though. Spare wheels on the back, they are usable wheels. They're not um, fakies, they're actual proper ones. I do like all this detail here. Uh, we'll be painting all this, comes with a spare drive shaft. Uh, there's your sway, sway bars, it's got, it's got limited straps as well. But look at the, the suspension travel on that is nice. That is really up tall. Right, let's, uh, oh, another thing. There's your interior, looking nice. Let's pull this off the roof. Um, LED lights at the top, light bar at the front. We have a light bar at the back. Fake fans, I've seen people turn these into proper fans. Let's, uh, let's turn it on its side and have a look. Big beefy wishbones. There's our live axle. Like I say, they'll both turn at the same time. Um, I do know a problem with the uh, UDRs already. Is they have plastic hexes which um, destroy themselves and then also destroy the wheel. So biggest first upgrade, if you ever get one of these, is get the Ally Hexes. And they're on eBay, about 26 quid. They'll stop that problem. 
Sway bars, not sway bars can snap sometimes. Uh, links can bend, depends how hard you bash it. Because this is not a basher, as you know. There's our compartment for our uh, battery. But absolutely gorgeous, love this truck. Like I say, been a long time waiting. Especially something this scale. As I love scale stuff. I love building scale stuff and making things look scale. There's from the back. Let me show you this suspension travel. Get that all the way down to the top. That is absolutely awesome. It's such a good looking truck. Now, like I say though, bits of on wheels I'm going to be getting. Alloy, bead locks, um, window nets, tyre straps. Get all the uh, bits of stuff painted. Make it look as real as possible and then get it out. Uh, another thing I do, I know, and these a lot of people complain about is these screws. There's about 12 screws holding the shell on, but they get caught a lot and they get ripped off. So definitely uh, be reinforcing the body and my usual uh, cable casing that I usually uh, run around the side of the arches to protect them from splitting. But um, yeah, what I'll do is give me a second. Let me just go and get the uh, Mojave out and we'll do a, we'll do a comparison to size. Oh! Get right over there. Right. Just give me one second. There is the uh, Mojave. As you can see. I say the Mojave is a tiny little bit bigger. Not by much. Um, obviously, Mojave is a basher. It's not true scale. It looks like a desert racer. It handles absolutely awesome. Um, doesn't flip over anyway as much as what a UDI would, but that's because it's got diffs throughout, centre diff. So it, uh, once it roll, it starts to lift up. These wheels lose traction, and it comes back down where the UDI. If you go around a corner and you don't drive it scale, it will just roll over. But yeah. So as you see on these, I have these. Over the arches. I will be doing it to this. But I am looking forward to getting them both out. I've got back, obviously the UDR has been out a few times, just not been on video. Uh, we're taking that out. And we're going to take the UDR out. We're both going to have some fun. Get me son out there. Get some driving done. But yeah, absolutely loving that. And I really do like the blue. It is really nice. Uh, but yeah. Um, also, sorry. You get a tools, some spare parts, a few spare parts in there, your usual manual and that, and your normal standard Traxxas uh, <laughs> receiver, not receiver, transmitter. Uh, it has all the TSA and all that for, uh, and you can link this. So you've got the uh, basically the built-in gyro which you get with these, but I am uh, I am loving that a nice bit of kit. And yes, I know I've not done a lot of videos. I've not been out. A few problems at home. There's, I've got personal reasons why I've not been doing any outside videos, but they will come. Um, and I'm definitely getting these two out. Some good slow motion shots. Uh, I know the Mojave is faster in a straight line by a bit. But I wanted this for the, the proper realistic slow motion stuff. Um, it should look cool. But um, yeah, so there you go. That's my little unboxing. A uh, bit of information. If you need any more, any techno babble for this, it is all there. Just in case. And uh, remember, yeah, this is 6S. This is 6S. So, should be fun. But, um, yeah, so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And have a great week. I'll see you all soon. Bye.